are live tonight from the Suscotia Bank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And speaking of the King of the Ring, first round matchup is on hand. The other half of the World Tag Team Champions, the human highlight reel, Ricochet, is set for his King of the Ring battle. But who is going to be standing on the other side of the squared circle? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet! Well, let's take a look at that King of the Ring bracket. We are kicking off the SmackDown portion right here tonight. Austin Theory will meet Mustafa Ali, but as you see, Ricochet, on the other hand, has got a mystery opponent. Ricochet coming into this matchup unknowing who's going to be standing across the ring. But if we want, to, we want to know anything about the one and only Ricochet is that he is not one to step down from any battle. Ricochet kicking things off in the first round of the 2023 King of the Ring tournament over on Friday Night SmackDown. Who's the opponent? Oh my goodness. Well, things certainly just got interesting here on SmackDown. The Viper is here. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Well, this is certainly an interesting development. The last time the Viper Randy Orton was inside of the ring was back in April at Backlash where he was banished from Monday Night Raw when he came up short in that Hell in the Cell battle against Matt Riddle over the WWE Championship. Randy Orton has been on the shelf for a month and change, but of course Randy Orton no longer allowed to find his home on Monday nights. He is here on Fridays and Randy Orton not only back in action for the first time since April, over a month since Backlash, but the Apex Predator of WWE is now a part of SmackDown in the King of the Ring. The one and only Ricochet, we just said it moments ago, but he is not one to step down from any battle, but he certainly cannot like the man who is standing across the ring from him tonight. Business certainly picking up here in Toronto. The apex predator of WWE is back and he has filled out the bracket for your 2023 King of the Ring. What well, is going to be a great night here at the Scotiabank Arena finishing off our several week Canadian tour. The North has been a great host of the WWE and what better way to finish strong tonight with the opening round on SmackDown for the King of the Ring plus that massive six man tag team in event. AJ Styles and two mystery partners we will find out later taking on Imperium. And here we go, Randy Orton, one-on-one -on -one with one half of your World Tag Team Champions, Ricochet, and a first round matchup in the 2023 King of the Ring. Of course, this past Monday on Raw, the Raw side of the bracket kicking things off with Cedric Alexander moving on to the quarterfinals by defeating Tommaso Ciampa. And then Shinsuke Nakamura defeated LA Knight to move on to said corner finals as well. Who's going to join him in that next round? Will it be Ricochet? Will it be Randy Orton? We're going to find out in moments here on SmackDown. Ricochet is going to have to move fast and take things to the sky like he knows certainly how to do to try to throw Randy Orton off his game plan tonight. Got to wonder how much time Randy Orton had to figure out a game plan for Ricochet. How long Randy Orton knew he was going to be here tonight in Toronto. All remains to be seen, but at the end of the day, we are here, we are live, we are living in the now with Ricochet and Randy Orton. And look at that maneuver by the one and only. And a nice bridge into the cover. Will that do it? Randy Orton pops the shoulder up. It's going to take a lot more to keep the Viper down. Randy Orton dominated Monday Night Raw for the better part of the year as the WWE Champion, kicking his former best friend Matt Riddle to the side. Randy Orton was running rough shot over the red brand for months. Of course, as we mentioned, Orton banished from Monday Night Raw back on April the 16th at Backlash. And that final encounter with his former friend Matt Riddle inside Hell in a Cell. Randy Orton has had time to rest and recuperate since the injuries that were occurring inside of that steel structure. 
And he is back in tonight on SmackDown as Ricochet pulling the Viper out. The carpet from underneath of him. And Orton on the outside now. Here comes Ricochet. Looked like he was going for a drop kick there, and Orton avoided it. These two men playing a game of cat and mouse at the moment, but Ricochet finally catches him with that tilt-a-whirl on the outside. This has turned into one of the biggest matches of Ricochet's career, and he's going to do any means necessary to move on to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. Ricochet, Randy Orton kicking things off for Friday Night SmackDown in this prestigious tournament. And you remember the semifinals and finals of the King of the Ring tournament will take place on the night of the event, Sunday, June the 18th in Philadelphia at the King of the Ring live premiere event. Not only will the winner receive the crown of the king, but of course, whoever wins this tournament is heading straight for August at SummerSlam to challenge for their brand's world championship. High stakes, high reward in the King of the Ring. Randy Orton, after losing his WWE title at WrestleMania and coming up short in the rematch at Backlash, I'm sure would love to get an opportunity at SmackDown's world championship. Randy Orton pumbling the one and only right now. One half of the World Tag Team Champions is not looking so hot. Remember his tag team partner, Mustafa Ali, will be in action a little bit later in his first round matchup against All Day Austin Theory. Meanwhile, Ricochet is feeling the warpath of the Viper. We're gonna stomp out the hopes and dreams of the one and only, but Ricochet lives to fight another moment. Ricochet is a Tough puzzle to crack inside of that ring. As Randy Orton may not be taking Ricochet too seriously here. I don't know if that's the best idea. You saw the human highlight reel moments ago, avoiding, or at least I should say surviving, Randy Orton's vicious stomps. And now Ricochet is coming out swinging here on the Apex Predator. Only one man can move on to the quarterfinals. Will that be Ricochet or will it be Randy Orton? Randy Orton down and out, Ricochet hitting the ropes. What is the one and only got in mind? Here comes Ricochet! Into the cover. Will that do it? Randy Orton's foot underneath the bottom ropes there. The Apex Predator saved by the bell, if you will. Nice drop kick by Ricochet. Orton down and out, and Ricochet heads to the sky. What a maneuver by the one and only. Randy Orton tried going to the outside to avoid Ricochet, but this man knows how to strike from anywhere. Hits that hurricane run off the apron. Ricochet is looking good right now, and the Apex Predator's got to regroup. A great matchup to kick things off here at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto in this building for the first time since January the 1st when we were here for the Royal Rumble. Here, Randy Orton with a DDT. Ricochet popping up. He's got to keep fighting So there's no gas left in the tank. Looked like Orton was trying to strike for the RKO, but Ricochet's speed was able to make him avoid it. Now look at this, one half of the World Tag Team Champions. Heading to the top, goes for the moonsault, but nobody home. Crash and burn by Ricochet. And Randy Orton's now in the driver's seat. Neck breaker there. We start to move back and forth in your opening round match in the King of the Ring. Ricochet getting hung up in the top rope. Randy Orton. Look at this, the stomps on the hand. Just trying to beat down the one and only by any means necessary. Cold and calculated is the Apex Predator. The man who now belongs to Friday Night SmackDown. Ricochet is looking worse for wear at the current moment. He may be in trouble. Randy Orton may be smelling victory at any second now. A slam there. And wait a minute. Ricochet. Oh, no. Randy Orton's in the corner. Ricochet. He avoided the RKO, but nowhere to run from that punt kick. Randy Orton sending a message to the Friday Night SmackDown locker room and certainly sending a message to all other men in the King of the Ring tournament. The Apex Predator is back, and he punt kicked his way to the quarterfinals. My goodness, what a match. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. 
Well, Randy Orton returning with a vengeance tonight. And the Apex Predator now finds his name on the King of the Ring bracket and finds it in the quarterfinals coming up in a few weeks' time here on SmackDown. Randy Orton will face the winner of next week's battle between AJ Styles and Johnny Organo, but the story here tonight is Randy Orton is back. The Apex Predator is now a part of the blue brand. Friday Night Smackdown, and everybody in the locker room better be careful that they don't get bit by the vicious venom of this cold-hearted viper. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rapper.